What's poppin' Grapple Gang? Welcome back to the channel, I'm Cartoon Cory, and you guys know the drill. We're going to be talking about more Spongebob mistakes. Let's get started. This is going to be a ton of fun. Mr. Krabs is a tough boss, and this is definitely the case in the episode The Krusty Plate, where Mr. Krabs just freaks the heck out, all due to Spongebob not washing a plate correctly. He even punishes Spongebob by making him stay over time. Unfortunately for Spongebob though, he just cannot actually clean the plate. He tries, he does everything he can, he even tries to shoot the plate, but this ends up resulting in him destroying the Krusty Krab by the end of the episode. Now the mistake is subtle. But going back to this scene, where Mr. Krabs is overlooking the Krusty Krab and sees Spongebob's troubles with the Spotmaster 6000, the road or pathway to the Chum Bucket is missing, despite it being visible in pretty much every episode prior, like it's always there as you can see in this clip, but it's just not there during this scene. So definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. I guess I better go see where the lad's up to. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. Let's see what he's done this time. When SpongeBob and Patrick accidentally shave off the Flying Dutchman's beard in the episode The Curse of Bikini Bottom, he turns SpongeBob and Patrick into ghosts until his beard grows back in a thousand years. At first, they have much fun as ghosts, but eventually realize the hardships of living without souls. Now, upon learning that the Dutchman is only upset that he can't go on a date due to the loss of the beard, SpongeBob and Patrick decide to help him out by helping him look good for the date anyways. And from here, the episode actually gets pretty fun. On to the mistake though. During this scene where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward are in the shed, Squidward has yellow teeth for a few frames. Yeah, pretty weird. Here's a clip. In the episode Chocolate with Nuts, we've talked about this one before, SpongeBob and Patrick get something interesting in the mail. It isn't for them, it's actually for Squidward, and it's Squidward's Fancy Living Digest magazine. This magazine is all about living a lavish, fancy lifestyle, and this results in SpongeBob and Patrick wanting to live that lifestyle as well. So they start their own little business and go to the doors of Bikini Bottom residents to try and sell their chocolate bars. It doesn't go well at first, but once they start capping and lying that their chocolate does magical things, things start to go much better for them, and they sell a bunch of chocolate bars. Now by the end of the episode, Spongebob and Patrick's lying backfires. But let's head over to this scene. There's a mistake that I'm sure you missed. As all of you know, Spongebob uses bubble transitions to change scenes. However, during this one transition, there is a huge mistake, as for a brief second, the date September 14th, 2001 can be seen at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, definitely isn't supposed to be there. Here's a clip. If we keep exaggerating the truth, we'll be fancy living in no time. Hooray for lying! It'll make your hair grow. Great, my wife's trying to grow a beard. They'll make you sound smart. I'll take 20! Our next mistake can be found in the episode Jellyfish Hunter. This episode is pretty dark, with Spongebob creating a jellyfish condiment at the Krusty Krab that goes on to be a major success with customers. However, this comes at a cost, as Mr. Krabs catches on and decides to start abusing the jellyfish to get more jelly just so he can make more money. Yeah, 
Now in the end, Mr. Krabs lets all of the jellyfish free once he's forced to because he gets zapped by old No Name. But if we head over to this scene, we can find our next or last mistake. As a matter of fact, we can actually find three, as not only are SpongeBob's holes missing, but he's also missing his left and right legs. Yeah, well I guess a part of his right leg is there, but you get the point. I'm going to show a clip with audio, but before I do, I just want to say, seriously guys, thank you for all of the support on Grapple. I'm Cartoon Cory, your host, and I'll be back with more Spongebob mistakes in the next couple of days. Do you guys want some Easter egg videos too though? Let me know. I'll be responding to comments in chat, so leave a comment as well. Anyways though, make sure to subscribe, uh, and here's those clips with audio. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.